Well, good evening, Garvin. It's become clear that the prosecution in the case, largely by calling many of the same witnesses we heard from in the Elizabeth Holmes trial, is trying to paint Sonny Balwani as very involved in the day-to-day -day operations of Theranos. On the other hand, we've started to hear from Balwani's defense team, which is trying to convince jurors it was really Elizabeth Holmes calling the shots and that Balwani was more of an investor, providing money and occasional advice to the eventually doomed company. Experts say that could be a tough sell, as we're already seeing emails and hearing testimony from Theranos employees describing Balwani as very involved. The defense is going to have to prove that while Sonny Balwani was ultimately in charge of operations, that nothing at Theranos happened without Elizabeth Holmes is okay. Even though she was many years his junior and a far less experienced entrepreneur, that she ultimately called all the shots. That's the only chance that Sonny Balwani has. Scott, given that there are books, documentaries, podcasts, and TV shows all about Theranos, some of them airing right now, and painting a picture of Sonny Balwani as being very involved in the company, how big a challenge does that set up for his defense? Yeah, it's a big challenge, Garvin, because unlike Holmes, where the jury was told, hey, try to avoid those shows and books and obviously social media simply because they told the Theranos story, as you just mentioned, everything out right now not only tells the story of the company, but very focused on Sonny Balwani being kind of a heel and actually very involved. So they think, that is the uh, defense team thinks, that it could actually bias the jury if they see this information and see social media, not just because of the Theranos story, but very specifically because of the role that those stories are showing Sonny Balwani playing. Thanks so much, Scott.